Lots of sunshine today. We still have some of that smoky haze filtering the sun from those wildfires out in Canada. But a couple of things. There's been some rain out in northwest Canada, and as a result, the wildfires are down a little bit. Also, our wind direction in the upper atmosphere is shifting, and that's going to be taking those clouds or that smoky haze, I should say, out of our sky here later on tonight. We say hello to South Haven, South Beach Live. Not a bad day out there on the beach, but it is still too cold, really, to get in the water. We say hello, Coldwater here. Willowbrook Tower camera live thanks to the city of Coldwater. For the view here, looking out over a beautiful sunny I-69. You know, interestingly, we talked about this backdoor cold front earlier this week, and we mean that because instead of the cold air coming from the northwest, which is typical in our part of the world, this cooler air is coming in on a northeast breeze, and so it's coming from a direction that's a little bit different. And that's why it's cooler in Lansing, already at 59 degrees, but in Kalamazoo, it's still 69. It's warmer along the lakeshore, too. But this cool air that's coming in from the northeast that's already dropping the temperatures in Ionia and Charlotte and Lansing and Hastings is soon going to be dropping the temperatures all across West Michigan. And that's going to lead to the frost advisory that we have that goes into effect at 2 a.m. tomorrow through 8 a.m. So from 2 to 8 a.m. Thursday, Allegan, Barry, Eaton counties northward in this frost advisory. Where you see the purple, which goes on up into uh, up north there, is where they actually have a freeze warning. And now south of that area, closer to I-94, still a good idea to protect those tender plants, but not likely we'll see quite as cold the temperatures. Let's look live. The filtered sun looking over Kalamazoo right now. You can see it looks a little hazy. Our Peregrine Tower Cam looking to the north. It's going to look a little bit different, though, uh, during the day tomorrow as we're going to see that smoke move out. All quiet on our satellite and radar. There you can see that cooler air coming in from the north, and our skies tonight as a result will be clearing. Chilly, frost possible, an overnight low in the mid to upper 30s. By the way, opportunity to see the space station tonight. I posted this on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages, so you can look at that as well. From 1101 to 1106, just look for that bright white light. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. 65, sunny and cool. The seven-day forecast warming up. Warm for Memorial Day with a high of 85. And no, that's not a typo. Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we might make a run at 90. Hmm. So nice. But tonight, close all the windows. Yeah, you don't tonight, want to wake up yeah. so it's cold. Chilly. It's going to be chilly <laughs> outside and tomorrow, but you're going to be sweating like a pig. <laughs> that's a lot of work. Say. Open the window. Close the window. Next Open week. Again. Yeah.